Moving on to the next example, we have to find the coordinates of the point on the function 2x squared minus 8x, where the tangent on that function is parallel to 8x minus 2y plus 3 equals 0. Now this question is going to be a little tougher than the ones we've done previously, but overall it's not too bad. I'm going to do it in a distinct series of steps, so do your best to follow along. Now the first thing we got to do is we have to find the specific slope of the tangent that we're looking for. And we can do that with this equation. Notice how this equation is the equation of a line and we're told that the tangent that we're finding on this function is going to be parallel to this line. So that means they're going to have the same slope. So if we can find out what the slope of this line is, then we can find out what the slope of the tangent is. So if we take that line, 8x minus 2y plus 3 equals 0, if we could change it into y equals mx plus b form and get that m value, that would be the slope. So we can isolate for this y, so we can bring the negative 2y over to the right side, so we'd have 8x plus 3 equals 2y, and then isolating for that y, we would divide everything by 2. So we'd be left with y equals 4x plus 3 over 2. And notice how this is in y equals mx plus b form, where the m value is 4. So we know that the slope of the tangent, because it's parallel to this line, has a slope of 4 as well. Now the second step is we have to find the general slope equation for this function f of x at a general point x is equal to a. And to do that, we're going to have to use the difference quotient or the slope of the tangent formula. So we got the limit as h goes to 0 of f of a plus h minus f of a all over h. Now the first part, f of a plus h, I did on the side here. So f of x is equal to 2x squared minus 8x, that's given in the question. So f of a plus h, we would plug in that a plus h for all of the x's. Now taking this first part, a plus h squared, that's like a plus h times a plus h, and then you have to foil it. So that bracket would turn into a squared plus 2ah plus h squared. And then uh, distributing that negative 8 in the second bracket, we'd be left with negative 8a minus 8h. And then when we distribute that 2 inside that first bracket, our final expression for f of a plus h would be 2a squared plus 4ah plus 2h squared minus 8a minus 8h. So then that whole expression would go here. So this first bracket here represents f of a plus h, which we got on the side. And then minus, this is bracket is just f of a. So we plugged in a for the x's and we're left with 2a squared minus 8a. And this is still all over h. So then simplifying that numerator, we would end up with 4ah plus 2h squared minus 8h. The 2a squareds and the 8as would cancel out. And then like usual, we want to get rid of that h in the denominator so we can sub in 0 into the expression for h. So we would factor out an h from the numerator and then notice how the h's cancel out. And now we're just left with the limit as h goes to 0 of this expression in the brackets, 4a plus 2h minus 8. So we could plug in 0 for h, this uh, 2h goes to 0, so we're just left with 4a minus 8. Eight. So that there represents the general slope equation for the function 2x squared minus 8x at any x value a. And then our third and final step is we just have to find uh, or we have to make the slope from our first step equal to the equation in our second step and then just solve for a because this gives us the slope of a tangent at a specific a value or at a specific x value and this is the actual slope and we're finding coordinates. Usually in questions before what would happen is we're given the coordinates and we have to sub them in and find the slope of the tangent at that specific coordinate. In this case we're given the slope of the tangent and we have to find the coordinate. So we would take that slope for and make it equal to that general formula that we got. 4a minus 8. And then when we solve for a, we would bring the negative 8 over and then we would get a is equal to 3. So at an x value of 3 on this function, the slope of the tangent is parallel to this line or the slope of the tangent is equal to 4. So to show this visually, if we take this function 2x squared minus 8x and we graph it, we would have intercepts at 0 and 4. 
and basically at an x value of 3, which would be around here on the function, the slope of that tangent, so if we draw a tangent in red here, the slope of this tangent is going to equal 4, which is what we found in step 1. I erased step 1 here just to uh, give myself more room for this diagram. So we know that at an x value of 3, this function or the slope of the tangent on this function is going to equal 4. But they want the coordinates, so they we have the x value of 3. We have to find the y value as well, so we would just plug in 3 for the x uh, value in uh, the function. So f of 3 would be 3 squared, which is 9 times 2, 18, and then 18 minus 8 times 3, which is 24. So 18 minus 24 would give us negative 6. So that there is our final answer. At a coordinate of 3 and negative 6, which is here, this coordinate on the function, the slope of the tangent is parallel to this line or the slope of the tangent is equal to four. Yo, what's up guys? Thanks for checking out my channel. Hopefully you got some value from the video you just watched. If you did get some value, big favor to ask you, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Any questions, any recommendations on things you'd like to see, please leave it in the comments section. Also check out the description box below for links to material and content related to the video you just watched. Peace out.